Well, again, thanks so much to everyone for coming today. So the title of this workshop is How I Scaled My Revenue to 10K a Month in My Coaching Business Using Vision Boards. And I just appreciate uh, you taking the time to invest in yourself, invest in your clients by coming here today. So this is a, well, you can see by the title, this workshop really has to do with yourself but it also has to do most importantly with your clients and it's going to support you to understand how vision boards can support you with your business. And the interesting thing is I think many people think that I work primarily with coaches. And although that I, I think half of my graduates of the Academy, we're going to talk a bit more about that are coaches. I have people that are also yoga instructors, uh, artists, educators, um, direct sales. So there's a variety of businesses that this absolutely fits into. So what you're going to be able to do with vision boards is attract and convert your ideal clients um, in any niche, as I said, and the Dare to Declare vision board workshops and retreats then can be offered into your program and suite. And so for those of you who don't know me, or maybe you know me in, a, in one capacity. I want to just let you know a little bit about what I've been up to. So um, my name is Debbie Sluice. I'm from Chatham, Ontario, Canada. And two years ago, I retired after 30 years as a childcare director of a not-for-profit multi-site uh, location and organization. And five years ago, I had the idea. I had, my, my grandson does that, idea. I had the idea that I wanted to create something because I felt like I was meant for something bigger. I don't know if you can drop in the chat if you've ever felt like that, that what you're doing is, is okay, it's good, but I just feel this nudge that I'm meant for something bigger. So maybe drop like, uh, yeah, that me too. Uh, and so I have transitioned into becoming a, and I am a personal development and empowerment coach and I'm also the CEO and founder of my company called Dare to Declare. And I have various, it's kind of, that's the umbrella. And then I have various streams. And one of them I'm going to focus on today is the Academy, which I'm also the CEO and founder of the Dare to Declare Academy. Uh, in recent, in the last couple of years, I've been featured on Jack Canfield. He co-wrote Chicken Soup for the Soul, his success TV. Um, I was a past partner with a global coaching company called High Performing Coach um, and did training within there. Um, I've shared this stage with Gabby Bernstein. She is international speaker, podcaster, and I've been featured on many, many global podcasts as well. Most recently, um, I was featured in the Corporate Escapist magazine. And so um, if, you if you follow me on social media, you might have seen I put this post up this morning. Um, this is me 30 at 32 years old. And what's interesting is my daughters who are now 27, they're like, oh, mom, that's like us. Like it's really close to our age. And I said, it's, it, that's so true. And it's funny when that gap sort of <laughs> closes in, in terms of their awareness. And in my role as a childcare director, you can see me there. I have no clue why I'm wearing clothes that are hugely oversized um, because I didn't actually, um, I wasn't pregnant with my fourth son until a couple of years after this, but I look washed out. I look tired. Um, I really haven't taken care of myself. I look rather frumpy. And in fact, I think I look older than I do in this photo that was taken a few weeks ago at a wedding. What's the difference? It's still me. It's still my life. I was work, you know, I'm working with children. I was working. The difference is the fact that I have a vision. I have a clear vision and I'm in action on my goals. That's the big defining difference that has definitely supported me to get clear on my purpose. So as I said, that nudge, like I'm meant for something bigger, I got clear on my purpose. And that purpose, as I've discovered, is to live fully intentionally to this gift. I'm a Christian, this gift of life that God has given me. And that I'm not just on autopilot like I was at 32 years of age, but that I'm intentional, that I wake up with gratitude and anticipation for what is to come for the day. So the intentions for this uh, workshop, this seminar, are first off, what no one else will tell you about the need to create a vision for yourself and to achieve your deepest desires. 
there are many, many coaches who talk about vision. In fact, vision is usually even part of their discovery call. Like they're going to talk to their clients about what are, where are they now? And then where do they want to go? And would you like some help with that? But that's really usually the extent of the vision. And there's sometimes there's journaling, um, you know, there is some, some meditation around a vision, but it's not in a formalized way. Or it's the op opposite end is that it just becomes more like a paint party and something, a fun activity to do that feels, you know, just sort of like something to take up time or the, a party trick. The other thing um, you're going to get in this workshop is the truth about the value of including vision boards in your coaching program and also how to monetize vision boards to grow your business, even if you've never done one before. Now, we are behind the eight ball a little bit because I got a, a late start. So I want you to grab a pen and paper because I'm going to give you lots of nuggets coming forward in this, and you're going to want to catch those. Now, notice for yourself when you have an intuitive thought, meaning something kind of strikes you. Now, for me, I am a highlighter girl. Like I have highlighters all over <laughs> in my junk drawer, in my office, because whenever, even when I read books, I'm highlighting. So I would suggest that you highlight or star or underline whatever it is that really resonates with you so that you can go back and you will be able to have a replay of this as well. And especially for those that, uh, my apologies if you weren't able to get in this morning um, and that you're gonna be able to catch this on the replay. So, uh, what I want to also tell you is that you're going to be able to monetize the vision boards. And so please stay with me till the end of this, because I'm going to drop a bonus promo code that, um, that we could work together. So that is going to be something again, that I'll give at the end. It's my, it's my little carrot to have you stay with me, uh, because you're not going to want to miss that. Now there are two winners when you introduce a vision board you because you get clarity yourself and that you really understand deeply what your client wants and what their desires are. Um, and so for your client, it's a tool for them to, to experience transformation, ex uh, amazing transformation. In fact, at that wedding, that picture I just showed you last, uh, the last slide, I had a woman come up to me and she's like, hi, Deb, remember me? I'm Susan. And I said, um, you look vaguely familiar. And she said, I did a vision board with you. And I said, okay. And she said, everything manifested. <laughs> I said, what? She says, I have a dream, dream job. I went on a cruise and my life has completely changed. And I said, well, no wonder you're radiating. I don't even recognize you from that person who came to do the vision board workshop. So your clients will, will experience radical transformation. And what you're going to get is you're going to have an asset to help them, to help your clients and that you can feel as confident as I do about that transformation and to have something to increase your revenue as an asset in your, in your business. So most people leave this till the end. <laughs> I'm not going to do that because I want to tell you what I'm going to offer you at the end. But I'll, again, I'll leave the little piece around the bonus promo code um, that will actually uh, decrease this investment but I'm going to give you just sort of this upfront and then we're going to go through it at the end um, in a little bit more detail. But I want you to know what the investment is for the Academy starting August the 25th so that you can take this, write it down. And now I want you to put it on a shelf because I want you to fully be present here for the rest of this workshop, not in the subconscious wondering, okay, Deb, what you, when, when sort of the shoe going to drop that you're going to tell us about the program and about the investment. So now, you know, so now let's just put that aside. And let's get on with the rest of the workshop. So why is creating a vision important? So uh, it's so interesting. Whenever I'm in Facebook groups, they'll, they'll put like little memes or things to say, what could you speak about for half an hour? And I always put my hand up and go, visioning, vision boards, 100%. I geek out on it. I nerd out on it. But I want you to have a basic understanding about why a vision is so important in your and your clients' lives. First off, I want you to think about going to a restaurant. So now that COVID's done and we can get back, not done, but opened up, things have opened up and we can get back into restaurants. If you were to go into a restaurant and ask the waitress for a hamburger and she brings you what you ordered, what you're probably going to get is a plate with a bun and a burger. And it might be undercooked, overcooked, but that's what you're going to get. 
And you might say to the waitress, wait, 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 excuse me, um, where is the ketchup, relish, mustard, lettuce, tomato, mayo, um, and fries? And the waitress will say, but you didn't order that. So the same is true with getting clear on what you want for your life. The more clarity, the more specific that you can be about what you want for your life, the more you will specifically attract it into your life. So think of it like, um, I, I love this quote. I just got this from an, another coach, actually. At, um, they're now my coaching program. He said, do you make decisions from what you've got or from what you want? Love that. Love that question. So in other words, are you having this visionary outlook? Secondly, why a vision board is important. Now, this goes back to my background in early years. And I think Peter and Marcia on this call can, can attest to this, is self-regulation is so key for children, but also for us as adults. Meaning that if you think of it like a thermometer in your house, right? Where, you know, sometimes it, it, it regulates itself so that if it's like right now, we're in the summertime here in Ontario and it gets really hot. So the thermometer will kick on and it will cool the house. Um, and then it will turn off again, the, the furnace or the, the air conditioner will turn off again when it hits a certain point. But every time there's a change, it regulates itself. Well, we have systems within our body that will do that naturally as well, but other things can get in the way, like trauma um, and how we deal with trauma. And that could be a whole other workshop. But one of the things I want you to note is that a vision board is a great tool to help your thermostat, internal thermostat regulate itself. So if you are triggered, let's say, you know, someone says something derogatory, a mean comment, and you're really triggered by it, and you feel yourself just getting into this dark place, going to your vision board and looking at what is it that I want for my life can support you to refocus, to set that internal thermometer again. The other thing about vision and, and um, that's so important is to distinguish between vision and goals. And this is something that's unique in the Dare to Declare methodology is that most people, many coaches, in fact, they interchange the words. And in my methodology, I like to distinguish that a vision, and as I said earlier, I'm a Christian, so I'm going to talk in those terms, but a vision requires divine intervention, meaning it's a really scary prospect to put images on your board that you have no idea how they're going to come to fruition, how they're actually going to manifest. And most people, when I speak to them, like, have you ever created a vision board before? Um, and they'll say yes. And then they'll realize, actually, what I've created is a goal board, because there are things that I wanted to do, things that, you know, I, I actually physically could accomplish, I just have to get to it. But it's not the bigger vision. So that's something also that's unique with the Dare to Declare framework and methodology that my graduates now know how to support their clients to create a vision. And then after that, the subsequent goals that will support them to actualize your vision. So if you think about it like, a, like this woman in a car, that your vision is like a destination, a journey. So you know that, you know, you've heard about this great place. You, you know, um, maybe you've heard about the people that are there, the restaurants, the culture, especially if it's a road trip. Um, thinking I just went to, on a road trip to Northern Ontario and, you know, I imagined that I'd never been there before, but I, I knew there was going to be cottages. I imagined we'd probably go fishing. I knew that there would be, you know, comfortable seating on the beach, but I hadn't really been there. So I'm going to use my road trip as an example. I actually stopped midway. So I, I am quite Southern Ontario and I was traveling about seven hours North. So on my way there, I actually stopped midway in Barrie and I booked a hotel. So if you think about that stop, like a goal. And so I already thought of that piece as part of my journey, part of my vacation. And I fully enjoyed it. So I don't get the chance to just have dinner by myself very often. So I took myself out for dinner and I had a glass of wine. And the next morning I took myself out for breakfast and I really enjoyed it. And I took photos actually, I shared it with my husband. Look, look at my scenery out my window. And I just felt so relaxed. And so when we're in that, it, it's not like the final destination is the full manifestation. It's like even in those breaks, those small breaks along the way, those goals that get accomplished, we recognize the feeling, the emotion, and that actually supports us with attracting and accelerating our, our uh, path to our final 
uh, to our vision. I wouldn't, I shouldn't say final destination because I love this idea that the actualization, the manifestation of a vision is just the bottom of the next mountain. So it's like a continual expansion of our journey. Taylor, make sure if there's any questions in the chat, because I am moving along quickly, that people, um, that you let me know and just interrupt me. I've just got on speaker view, so I can't see everybody right now. So what are some of the dangers um, thinking a dare to declare vision board is simply a checklist? Perhaps a New Year's resolution, which is one of the most popular times for people to actually do vision boards or um, to my beautiful artist friends or my interior designers, they consider it an art project. Well, I've actually placed this image here because I wanted to embody the idea of doing, of moving and being in action. In that, if we think of a vision board as, as I just showed you before, distinguishing it simply as a goal board, then we're really focused on the doing. And so if you want to write down these three words, um, have, do, and be. So have, do, and be. Because most people think about a vision board as what do I want to have? What's that stuff I want to have? I want to have, you know, I remember, I remember talking to this gentleman. He goes, I just want to have a really big, fancy house. And then people think about, well, what do I need to do to get that fancy house, hustle, the, the hustle and the grind, and then I will be happy. Or maybe it's weight loss, right? So what do I want to have? I want to have a skinny body. What do I need to do? I need to diet like crazy. And then I'm going to be happy. We all know that doesn't work. So I challenge you to think about a vision board in the way that Dare to Declare um, the way that we do it here in the academy is we flip those three words around. Who do I get to be the best version of me? And then what do I get to do, which are the goals to be the best version of her? And then the have, the abundance will show up. So thinking back to that gentleman with his house, uh, I asked him like, why do you want this big fancy house? So he was just so, so determined, like so focused on this big fancy house. And he said, um, because um, I want to just prove to my dad that I'm successful and I made it. And so you see the source of where that's coming from comes from a place of pain, doesn't it? Because he wants to prove to his dad. So it seems like maybe there was something that he didn't feel that he was enough and that it was like the source. So that's where it's coming from. So what I coached him to consider is that let's take that off the table. It doesn't mean that the fancy house has to come off the table, but the source of the why, why do I want it? Let's go back to the being. Who do you get to be in that beautiful home? Because he hadn't even considered that. I said, you know, so now you have the house, you have the keys, you know, they turn it over to you and you open up the front door and you're like, hello, hello, no, nobody's there with you. You're walking through empty hallways. You're, you know, it's got no warmth, no, now what? So let's think about the house in terms of who do you get to be in this home? Do you want to invite your friends? Do you want to set up, you know, an area where you can have all the gaming all that you want? And maybe you want to do backyard barbecues. What do you want to do? And how do you get to be in this beautiful home? And then the doing is setting that into motion and then the have, which is the home. So those are some of the points around why it can be dangerous to have it flipped around. Well, I should just mention the danger is I had a, a gentleman I was speaking to and he said, I'll never do a vision board again. And I said, oh, why? And he said, well, because I got my fancy house. I got a fancy car. I didn't say fancy. I think he said a big house, a luxury car. And um, I made lots of money in my business. And I said, oh, so what's the problem? And he said, I lost my marriage. So the why, the focusing on the being. So had he thought about the car, 
and perhaps his wife and he traveling in it together? Had he thought about the home being the family home? Had he thought about the business and the money and what that could give them opportunities to do as a couple? That would have all then been together as part of his full vision. So I've been talking a lot about, you know, things manifesting and, uh, you know, showing up and fruition. So for those who are here and maybe showing up a little bit skeptical, uh, I want to just tell you that there is so much science behind all of this. And again, I am not going to be able to explain all of that in the next 25 minutes. But suffice to say that the Society of Science states that the more you can see and think about what you want, the more your brain becomes aware of opportunities for you to achieve it. So quite simply, you literally rewire your brain for success. So if you'd like to have more information, one of the people that I, I have followed, um, and I actually got to see her in person, her name is Dr. Caroline Leaf. She's a neurologist from South Africa, and she talks about the work that she's done with brain trauma patients and how with focused attention, their brain actually regrew leafy type branches. Whereas what I was taught um, 30 plus years ago when I was in my early child education program was that children who didn't receive the love and attention they deserve in an abusive situation, the brain actually prunes itself, which is true, which is why you know, now research tells us, you know, give lots of language to children, read to children, limit their screen time, like all of those things because the brain actually physically prunes itself. And, but we thought, when I thought 30 years ago, what we were taught was that was kind of their plight in life. But what we know now with new brain research and it's continuing to evolve is that the brain can actually regrow and it grows super highways with repetition. And so another piece of what I offer in the academy and what I offer in my workshop is the power of affirmations. So again, sometimes that can sound kind of woohoo and hippy dippy kind of but think about it with our muscles. If we go to the gym and we just hang out on the equipment and have a chat with people, are we actually going to get any results? No, we might make some new friends, but our body is not going to change and our muscles aren't going to work. We need to have repetition. I think about my piano teacher. Um, what was her name? Mrs. Step. Mrs. Oh, anyways, um, it'll come to me. <laughs> And practice, practice, practice. She was this lovely old, very eccentric older woman. And, um, you know, she would chide me for not practicing because I'm not going to get any better. And that I, by practicing, I'm actually changing my brain. I'm changing, you know, my skill set. So the same thing is with the affirmations. When you create an affirmation, you're actually rewiring your brain. So I want to introduce you to a few of my beautiful graduates. So this is Michelle. So Michelle is a transformational coach and she became certified as a Dare to Declare facilitator in June, 2021. So she was, I think, within the first uh, cohort group that we had. Um, she did her first vision board with me and she was over the moon. And this is what she had to say. She said, Debbie is a compassionate, kind and inspiring coach. She gently coached me through some difficult areas of my life. When looking at my vision board, I felt empowered and hopeful for my future after our powerful conversation. And um, Michelle is just a beautiful soul and she is up to big things. Um, she just did an amazing uh, program called the Happiness Kit, the Happiness Project. Um, and she has incorporated vision boards beautifully into her coaching program. This is Tina. Some of you who are, I saw some names come through that are, were a part of High Performing Coach. You may recognize Tina that she's an authentic leadership trainer for coaches. She was one of my coaches in 2020 when I was part of High Performing Coach. Um, and had, she had this to say about her vision board experience. She said, I participated in a three session personal vision board program and it blew me away. Before I even had my board complete, three things manifested right away. She is thoughtful in her approach and challenges you to dream big. I highly recommend her workshops and her personal coaching program. So that was, that's, yeah, lovely. So back to you. So what are, what's some of the value that you're going to be able to offer to your clients by using a vision board? As I said, you're going to have a deeper understanding of what your client truly wants. because. We have it up here where we think we know what we want. And 
well, maybe you've had this as an adult. Your children ask you, what do you want for Christmas? You're like, I don't know. I have everything. Right. And I don't know if you can, you can, um, if that feels familiar to you, but this really supports you to go deeper, that it gets out of their head and into their heart. So not only do what they want, but what do they truly desire? And um, as I said, I just signed up for the new coaching program and the uh, gentleman was trained under Bob Proctor. And a lot of my mentorship came from uh, Jack Canfield, but I love how Bob Proctor and Jack Canfield were in the secret together. And Bob Proctor talks about the paradigm or in other words, beliefs, things that we have held onto that um, interrupt or get in the way of what we truly desire. So as a coach, using this tool, you can get into what does your client truly desire? Then you can support them to intentionally focus on their goals. So as you saw earlier, and as Tina alluded to, I also do one-on-one -on -one coaching with clients. And I use the vision board as the foundational piece. So we, in my case, I've always begun with the vision board. And then, you know, sometimes my clients get this shiny syndrome you know, where it's like, bing, bing, oh, that looks interesting, that looks interesting, and then we get to come back to the map, right, remember that, that image I had about being on that journey, where is it that I want to go, what's my vision, and so we get to get back onto that, back onto track, to be held accountable with the goals that they want to work towards that vision, it doesn't mean the vision can't expand, as I said earlier, or morph, but it certainly gives a container for that um, and I just want to also talk about this sense of order. So for me, back in that earlier slide at 32 years of age, I definitely felt like there was a lot of disorder. And what a vision board does is it allows and gives you some, like it definitely gives you um, a sense of order. So it will support them to get out of their head, and into their heart and increase confidence. I, I can't believe um, some like the results of my clients, like going from zero, not knowing what she wanted to do to starting her own business, selling pierogies, and now she's um, selling to wholesale grocers and restaurants and her confidence is through the roof. And I just love when that happens. So what's the value for you as a coach? Well, it saves you time and energy deciding what to sell. It, it's really a clear tool. So one of uh, graduates, Hillary, she said, you know, I've been coaching for 20 years. And now that I ha have vision boards incorporated as part of my program, light bulbs are going off for my family and friends that they're finally understanding what it is that I do. Because it's such a simple tool, but it makes it really clear around the transformation that people get. It will increase your revenue. So uh, we now have uh, Tracy, I think I saw her on the call here. She uh, supports me with the Academy and she included a scorecard. So, which means it's kind of like, um, it's, it's really like, do you remember, remember in Sunday school, like when you had attendance, you get the gold star every time you came to Sunday school. Well, it's kind of like that where you get the gold star, but it's for yourself, nobody else. So you're not competing against anyone else, but just for yourself that it's like, ah, I, I completed that piece of the course. I completed this piece of the course. And one of the things that we really want for you is we want you to book your own vision board workshop before you complete the course so that you can earn back the investment that you have, that you've made with the academy and that you begin earning revenue straight away. How many courses can say that, that you can just hit the ground running and start earning revenue? Well, I know that I can do that for you and with you. So improving your client's results, they're going to get, you know, tangible results because they've got something tangible in hand with a vision board. Um, and that will increase your client's lifetime value. As I said, um, I hadn't worked with Susan for, I think it was three years prior to COVID that we had had that thing. And she remembered me, came up and like, thank you for that experience. You know, I changed my life. Um, you're going to be recognized as the go-to expert in your niche. Because as I said, many people know about vision boards, but very few are doing it in the way I actually haven't discovered anyone else that's doing it in the way that Dare to Declare is offering it. And it's going to support you with messaging to market your business then with ease. So these are three words that really summarize up the framework of Dare to Declare. 
ask for what you want, believe that it's possible, and be open to receive. Or three other ways that you can say is ask, which is the want. Remember I said the want, what do I want? Believe, which is the desire, which is in your heart. And being open to receive is action. So want, desire, action. Those are three other words you can interchange in there. So by offering vision boards to your business, you're going to be able to attract more clients because you're going to pique their curiosity. You're going to connect with more clients because your ideal client will engage with you on a more emotional level and recognize how invested you are in their business and their success. And you're going to convert more clients because it's a tangible tool, as I said, for accountability. So there are three ways that you can offer it. Um, and I'm sure there's many more. And I keep being astounded by our graduates and how they keep coming up with new ways that they can use this. So I have done it and I did this very much um, when it was COVID and I went online and transitioned from in-person because I couldn't do it in person, that I did it over a three-week program. So it's a really nice low entry, high ticket offering that you could offer to your clients because it's only three weeks. So it doesn't feel like, oh, I got to be with you for six months. Um, and then the, the price point also can, can reflect that as well. So it's a great entry level into your into your one-to-one -one coaching program. You can use it as a group workshop tool, which I do for corporate. I've done it online. I worked with a teacher's union online. And it's a great way, again, to segue into other parts of your program. And you can tailor the workshop to complement your niche. I've done it, um, like you can do it for bridal retreats. I've done a teenage birthday party. There's just so many ways that this tool can be used. And with as you see with a huge demographic from teens right up to seniors. So how do you try to convert ideal clients offering vision boards? So here's six steps. First, you're gonna to wanna to create your own vision board. So unless you've had the experience yourself, you're not gonna be able to translate that to your clients. So it's not just the product, right? It's the process. So what's a beautiful thing about the Academy now is that you don't have to find time to do that with me. We don't have to sort of arrange to fit that in your schedule. That's actually right part of the Academy. So all of the participants do it together, which is beautiful because it really builds this very intimate, gorgeous community where people are doing their own personal vision boards together with the other participants. Um, and so the importance of having this framework to follow is that it's not just like a two hour process. So in fact, the way that I teach it is that it is over six hours because for any of the coaches that are here on the call, you know, that as I talked about with Bob Proctor, that paradigm or those limiting beliefs that those show up, even in creating a vision board, one of the biggest ones would be, I think like that selfish, um, things that we think about work, how we think about uh, finances and money. So we get to have conversations about that upfront. So all of those conversations and exercises are in this beautiful framework that I give to the graduates that they can then use. And so it's very intentional the way that I've laid out this vision board workshop. It's not like put a bunch of magazines on a table and, and a foam core board. There's a lot of coaching that goes around it. And as I said, it's very intentional. And actually in a few minutes, I'm gonna give you one of the exercises right out of um, the workshop. So I want you to take this information I'm giving you here in the next few slides and just run with it. So, you know, you should be able to, what I'm giving you right now, you could actually just go and create your own workshop. You could. In fact, if you go to my website, you'll see there's a free e-guide there as well that just gives all of the, the bones of this framework and what it is to do a Dare to Declare workshop. But this is just the beginning. So if you're feeling some nudge, some interest, some curiosity, some excitement around this, let's have a conversation. Um, and and what, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the program. And you know, if you can get this with just, what, 40 minutes? Imagine what we can do in 12 weeks with 24 hours altogether. So consider the possibilities for your business um, about how, as I said earlier, how this will increase 
your revenue, how it will increase the transformation for your clients. You can offer it standalone. Like, you know, if you want to, I had someone say, do I have to now do be a vision board facilitator and run it as a business? No, you can absolutely just incorporate it as part of your suite of some of your offerings. You could do it at the beginning, at the end. You could offer it as a group program, sort of bonus retreat um, as an in-person. There are just a multitude of ways that this can be added as an asset. One of our uh, graduates is Dr. Robert Kelly. He's a physician in Ireland, and he runs a coaching program within his hospital for the administrators of the hospital, predominantly women. And they actually said to him, we want to do a vision board. He's like, well, okay, I know where I got to go learn. So he is now a graduate. What's so curious to me is he puts the vision board as part of his program, but he has a wait list for people who want to do Dr. Robert Kelly's vision boards. <laughs> and I said, well, use it as a dangling carrot that they have to then be in your whole wellness and health program in order to get the vision board piece. So it's really this, he sees it as such an asset. He said it's transformed his coaching program. So choosing, as I said, your delivery method. Now, um, I have this gorgeous studio. I was just in it last Saturday with a group of five women. Um, it's specifically built to house vision boards. And what's been remarkable is I have a number of my graduates who are also transforming spaces. That's not necessary. Um, and I go through all of that in the academy on how any space, as long as it's large enough that people can spread out, can be converted into hosting vision board workshops, libraries, boardrooms, um, you know, multi-purpose rooms, gymnasiums, um, any space like that certainly could house a uh, vision board workshop, <coughs> workshop for a group, excuse me. <clears throat> Um, the other thing is to think about who is in your past network. I, I do find, I, I had a little bit of this as well. Um, when I left the early years field, especially because we were just heading into COVID, I really felt like I was just kind of like, oh, like I'm just ready now to seek who is my niche um, and sort of to leave the early years behind. But I was leaving behind 30 years experience, all of that skill set. And that's really where my magic lies because those women, predominantly women in that field, they know, like, and trust me. I'm one of them. I'm still registered as an early child educator. So that actually has become a foundational piece of my program. My revenue is doing corporate events. Um, I'm actually going the end of August into Mississauga near Toronto. I'm going to be working with 30 educators. They've rented like a hotel, um, banquet room and I'm going to be offering it over two two different sessions with with them and so they continue to hire me because I am one of them but I'm bringing in this new way of being that's supporting mental health and isn't that so crucial right now during these days so and then step four is to plan and execute your sales and marketing strategy around the vision boards consider how you will attract and convert people into your unique offer What's really interesting is that, and again, this is a great marketing idea, is celebrities, so many celebrities um, endorse vision boards. Oprah, Ellen, Steve Harvey. I know I've watched Americans Got Talent and a couple of people walk on with their vision boards and they're like, this has been always my vision is to have, um, you know, be on this show. And so they share their vision boards. So it's very much becoming part of mainstream. But as I said, getting in on this early now where people are not knowing how to do it in a way that aligns with coaching, that it feels more like a paint party or, or something more frivolous like that. Uh, and you're going to want to share your own vision board, which is why it's so important to do your personal vision board, because you're going to, as you can see, mine's behind me. I always have it displayed here in my office so people can see um, I live what I, what I teach. So designing your workshop. So that's what you're going to want to do is think about um, the whole of it. So it's not just the mechanics of it, but that you're creating an experience. This is one of my, this picture is one of my favorite spots. I got to go up to the Muskokas. Actually, I'm going to be working with this group again in November. And this was before COVID about three years ago. And it was like, you know, luxury meets rustic. And it was so gorgeous. It was this beautiful lodge and we got to create uh, this, this, this beautiful experience together. 
And then step six is delivering your workshop. So, you know, I've done things, as I said, face to face. Um, and, and so this photo that's on the left there of this woman, she's part of a group of about 30. And so I, you know, I, when there's people who want me to come over, actually this lady, this experience right here, um, I was supporting her to coach her because she had a photo of Jennifer Aniston on her board. And I said, please tell me why you have Jennifer Aniston on your board. And she said, well, um, I want to look like her. And so I got to coach her through that, that we get to, instead of being in this state of comparison, which is really the thief of joy, that what is it that you really want? And what she wanted to do was play on the beach with her grandkids. So we got to find an image of that. But then the image on the right is actually another client. Uh, I think she lives in Ohio era, area, and we got to do ours um, virtually. So here's another uh, client, Amy. She's the founder of Yoga and Sports Massage. She became certified in June 2021. Um, since then, Amy has provided solo and group vision board workshops to complement offerings to her clients. And she said, I can't tell you how energized the workshops leave me. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so grateful you came into my life. Um, I just got to see a post Amy had up. She just did a retreat as well with uh, vision boards included. So um, what I didn't expect with offering the academy was that my client's success becomes my success. I am just so, so proud with them. It just fills my cup. But Karen's another client. She's a founder of Karen Marie Coaching and she became certified as well um, in 2021. Since then, Karen has enthusiastically facilitated vision board workshops online and in person. She's actually done corporate workshops and she says, Debbie brings her all to academy students. She shares from the heart. I felt supported and ready to start facilitating when I graduated. So this is the activity. I'd like you to take out a piece of paper and draw a diamond on it, a diamond shape, about the size of a post-it note. Now, on the top of that diamond, I'd like you to write down your vision using one at the most two words. Thinking about your vision what would you use to describe it? The image that's in your mind. I'm looking at Peter and Marcia and I remember us talking about your vision. Once you've got that done, I want you to go to the middle of your diamond and I want you to write down, how will you feel when that vision manifests? Using one or two words, not a whole sentence, just one or two words. And I'd like you to pop those in the chat. Pop that word in the chat. Um, we are at the 12 hour mark. So if you have to hop off, I understand. I'm going to go over a little bit just because we had a late start and I want to give you the full experience. So if you have, you know, you can always catch us on the replay, the, the last piece of this, but um, yeah. Okay. So once you've got that down and you're writing that in the chat, I want you to go to the bottom of your diamond and I want you to be as specific as possible. When will this vision manifest? Write down the month, the year. When will that vision at the top fully come to fruition? If you could just go to um, your thumbs up, 
so I can see little thumbs up so I know when you're done. So I don't want to carry on until everyone's done. Okay, thank you. Let's see, Kristen. Peter and Marcia done. Tracy's done. Okay. All right. So I want you to go back to the top of your diamond. I want you to scratch off your vision. It's going to feel weird. What? <laughs> because what I want you to notice is that the middle is actually your vision. So I'm gonna take a peek in the chat, see what was there. So Kristen wrote free. So feeling free, is there anything else anyone wants to share? Maybe just unmic yourself or pop in the chat. Safe, Tracy wrote. Right, freedom. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. The, that's the number one thing that I hear from clients is that is their desire is freedom. And so I want you to look at the date and ask yourself if you're willing to wait till then to feel that way, to feel free, to feel safe. And if your answer is, if, if, your, if your date isn't today, if it isn't tomorrow, then this is your call to action. This is your kick in the butt, so to speak, from me to you in all love to say you deserve to feel free you deserve to feel safe today. Now, how do you do that? You get into action with your goals because freedom, safety is actually the big vision. As I said, that's the big, that's the big piece. And then how you do that is getting into small steps of, of action. And as those goals are accomplished, like the little stops along the way, like I did in Barry, you get to feel all the feels. And that actually is the fuel that will carry you on forward towards actualizing your vision. So one of the ways that you can do that is into next steps. So what would your next steps be? Well, I would love to have you enroll in the Dare to Declare Academy. So Taylor's going to drop the link for that. And so this is an application process. There's no money exchanged at this point. It's simply to put out your intention that this is what I would like, this is my desire. We wanna to get to know a little bit more about you to see if it's gonna be a good fit for the Academy. And with that, you get to join an amazing community. So I would love for you to join uh, the Facebook group if you haven't already, which is Vision Board, create one that really works. But in addition, if you do join the Academy, there's a private group that is vibrant. <laughs> they are so, oh, Here's my vision. I'm just going to quickly share that with you. My big vision is that I'm going to host a retreat in somewhere warm <laughs> when it's cold <laughs> and bring down all the graduates and get inspiring speakers and motive because I just love, love, love that community. They fire me up. And lastly, the next step is then to rock your business. So I want to go through this with you, um, what you get with the Academy. So as I said before, you get to create your own vision board. So that in itself is a value. If you do it online with me, it's $12.97. Um, you get 12 weeks of live training. So it's not recorded. It's live with me, two hours um, via Zoom. In addition, you get one year access to all the call replays and trainings hosted in Member Vault. And I'm saying one year because that's what your initial investment entitles you to. And then we have an ongoing membership fee of just $500 um, to maintain your certification going forward. You have 12 months access to the community. You have customizable slide deck and guide. So as I said, you can hit the ground running. When you are finished this program, you get the slide deck that I, that I use, that all the graduates are using. You can customize it for your own business and a guide that even though you've had all the training, it just to keep you fresh with notes, 
uh, and keep you on track. And in addition to that, in the academy, there are two more workshops you get. You get the Power Word Workshop, which is one that I offer quite often in corporate. It's like to create a little mini vision board. Uh, so you're going to get the slide deck for that as well. You get the training to be able to offer that and earn revenue with that or use it as a lead magnet. And I actually have a couples vision board workshop that is in there as well. So you get to have that too. So, oh, I was supposed to do the arrows as I went along and talked. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> okay, so that's what you get as the foundational piece. And then there's bonuses of being part of the Dare to Declare Academy community. There are monthly chats. So all of the graduates have access, access to this mastermind type of experience that's for two hours on a monthly basis. They bring their successes where we can celebrate together. They bring their challenges. And I'm bringing up new topics, new ideas, new learnings, because I'm still doing vision boards. So I get to bring all of that forward to the community as well. Then there's pop-up trainings with experts. So I see Tracy's on the call here. She's actually my course content creator, and she's done a couple of the, the trainings. Um, I also had a visibility coach come on. I've had an event planner expert come on. So just a lot of different um, experts coming in to do pop-up trainings for the community. You get a certification. So I don't know if you can see my t-shirt here that I'm wearing, but this is our badge. This is our, our logo for the Academy. It's two Ds with a little crown. You can see it there on the top slide. And you get that certification badge and certificate that you can display on your website. Um, so people know that you've taken the training um, and that you're certified in offering vision boards. Uh, as well, you get a listing on my website under our membership. So your photo goes there, your contact information. So if someone's looking for a certified Dare to Declare facilitator for vision boards in their area that can do it in person or virtually, your name and contact information is right there on my website. <laughs> Again, I forgot this highlights. Okay. So what is the investment? I gave you that slide up front um, of 4497, which, as I said, is actually, if you look at all the value from that first piece plus the bonuses, it's over 6,000 USD, but we have it listed at 4497. But until August 1st, because you're listening to this uh, live and or catching the replay, till August the 1st, we're going to use a promo code. So the promo code is Summer Sizzle. Thanks, Tracy. I love that promo code. S Summer Sizzle 1 for a single payment. If you want to do it over two payments, it's Summer Sizzle 2. And if you want to do it over three payments, it's only, again, $1,332 USD for three payments. And again, you're in and you can be certified in the Academy. So that is starting um, August the 25th. Thursdays, it runs from 10 till 12 Eastern Standard Time. There you see the, uh, the full price, but um, you can see where the uh, set price now, plus you can see there the 3397 with the promo codes. And so who's with me? <laughs> I would love to have you join the Academy and join this dynamic, amazing group. Um, and so I'm going to open it up now for any questions. So I see there's still some people on. Thank you for staying on and again, being patient with our tech issues. I so appreciate you. And yeah, maybe if there's any takeaways from today's workshop or any questions you have, and I'm loving on your dog, Peter. <laughs> oh, it was getting big. Last time I saw it was just pup a month ago, I think. Kristen, Yvette, are there any questions? Hello. Hi. Um, this is meeting, meeting weekly, correct? Yes. Good. Okay. Yes. Good point. So it starts August the 25th. It goes till November the 9th. Okay. And we meet weekly for two hours live. And the reason I positioned it and started it at this time is because, as I said, we want our graduates to be successful. So we're going to support you to set you up to have a paid or and or depending on your comfort level workshop before you graduate. And the most popular time, even because I said one of the dangers is people think of it just as a New Year's thing, but one of the most popular time is the new year. 
So that way you can talk about it, promote it during Christmas, when you're meeting people in person and have something set up during the Christmas break or in January, which is one of the most you know, prime times to offer the vision board workshop. So that's why I've set the academy up at this time. And they're recorded if we can't make it, right? They are, yes. And so we have a beautiful uh, platform that, again, Tracy has set uh, the Academy up on. It's called Member Vault. And all the recordings are in there. In addition, there are, it's a growing library. So graduates are also contributing as they're creating resources. And they're like, oh, I have this new checklist or I have, um, you know, something that you can use with a power word workshop. For example, Karen, one of our graduates just did that. And she, you know, she generously shared that. So now we've got that as an extra resource in that library. So you have access to that as well. Yeah. And you have access to that as long as you are certified and you for sure have it for the full year. And then if you decide that you want to continue on your certification, again, you have access to all of that. Thanks, Kristen. Those are great questions. Yvette or Peter or Marsha, any questions or comments? Uh, Peter said, I think we're going to do our own vision board first. Is that common? So um, you, I know you were thinking about doing it as a couple mm -hmm. um, with a couple's vision board workshop. So that actually, no, I've had people that have done multiple vision boards with me and then came and did the academy. In fact, Brenda did it with her, her corporate um, early years organization in Niagara a number of years ago and then came and did it again with me um, virtually. So what's interesting is that there's a difference between in-person and virtual. So you will actually be at an advantage that you would have experience with both because you would be doing it in person with me as a couple. And then you'd be doing it virtually with me, um, and individually, if you were to take the Academy, which mm -hmm. again is a unique experience. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I just feel like in a way that just even doing it, it's like you said, like until you do it, it's like, it's hard to kind of picture it still. So, although I, I do have an understanding of it. So yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Great question. Yvette, is there anything that you want to contribute to this conversation? Okay. Um, nope. So no questions at this time. Okay. Well, thank you for being here. I so appreciate you. And uh, Taylor has dropped those links and you will be getting subsequent emails. Taylor, do you want to tell them what they'll be getting after this with the replay? Yep. So you'll all be, um, hopefully at the end of the day, you'll get uh, this replay sent right to the email that you registered with. Um, and if you were on Facebook, you can always pop a comment in there too. I added uh, the Facebook group in there if you had any more questions or any issues, but um, the replay and all the links that I've shared uh, will be sent again to your email. Yes, so uh, feel free to share the replay. So if there's someone else, like it's not close to the chest here. So if you think there's someone else that could really benefit from this. And as I said, we had a few issues up front around um, getting everybody in. So if there's someone that you know that wanted to be here and couldn't, um, they'll get the email too. But yeah, feel free to share it as well. Um, and keep the questions coming and let's keep the conversation going. So thank you so much. And I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye for now.